Good morning, and welcome to the B-Rag Show. How you guys doing this morning? You guys like my new gloves? New gloves came in. <sighs> well, <laughs> remember how I said that? Once I start reading that book, I'm gonna call bullshit on somebody. <laughs> well, it happened yesterday. It happened. I can't believe it. Really. I told you it was gonna happen, but like I said, I'm not putting anybody down. But that's what happened. I only read chapter two. I was. It took me about an hour to read chapter two, and after that, after I read chapter two, I, I closed the book and I put it down. I don't want to read it all right away because I gotta take time to absorb the information and let life take its course. You know what I mean? So I just after I read one chapter, I put it down. Anyways, you know what I'm saying? I'm learning a lot in that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well in this, in the chapter two, you know, it talks about cardio and stuff. So okay, anyways, I was watching this video, you know what I'm saying? I was on the For You page and uh, I was watching the video and somebody had asked this coach, they said, hey, do you need cardio? And I read the chapter that was talking about cardio. And so he, he turns around and said that, no, you don't need cardio. It's, it's, it, it's pointless to do that, he said. That's what he said, he said cardio is not necessary, that's what he said. And then he turns around and says, but I do cardio, and this and that to help me get my thing. Hold on, you just said cardio is not necessary, and yet you tell them that you do cardio. I was like, well, what kind of a coach are you? You, know what I'm you, you got mixed signals, it's like you don't even know if you're When you do it like that, you know that that coach is someone, that someone is coaching him. He's not a real coach. He never been to college or got his ISSA certification. So he don't know. He's a coach that's been coached by another coach. So whenever he gets a problem, he goes and calls his coach that he pays money to to teach him that, hey, what's what's this information? And after that, he goes back and makes the video and, and teach it like it's his own information. You know what I'm saying? So that's the kind of coach that he is. You know what I'm Let me tell you, let me help you because if he sees this video, he needs to know. The book, Arnold said that the book is, in, that cardio is important. Cardio is a must. You have to incorporate cardio into your program. It is not what you have to, it is a necessity. You need cardio. Now, let's put it back into my life. All these years I've been working out, I never thought I needed cardio because I figured that I would get my cardio through supersets. And supersets just blows your wind out. If you do like two supersets, and you be like this, and you're just, you're just winded. So I always thought after all these years, I thought I don't need to do cardio because I get my cardio through weight training, through my supersets. And I thought reading that chapter turned out to be, I was wrong. You do need cardio. Let me break it down what the book was talking about. What cardio does to your body is that it boosts up your blood cells in your body because, <clears throat> and when it boosts it up, what it is that because your body, uh, it builds up lactic acid in your bloodstream. And what the lactic, lactic acid does is that it clogs up your system like a protection so that way, you know what I'm saying, you won't burn up any muscles. So it, but it, 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 it clogs up your system so you can't, grow if you got a bunch of lactic acid in your body you can't you can't grow because if that lactic acid is like a it's like a plateau it, it blocks a blockage that paralyzes you from growing you know what I'm saying and the only way to get rid of the lactic acid is to do cardio and when you do cardio it, it speeds up the white blood cells in your body and it starts fucking wiping up all the lactic acid and clearing your body out so that way your body can start functioning and producing more. You know what I'm saying? That's when the keys come into play where you have to eat more. You know what I'm saying? So that so once your body burns off all that, you know what I'm saying, lactic acid, then your muscles start working again. And if you ain't got no food in your body, then your muscles start eating itself. And that's why overtraining comes down and your muscles start depleting because then you overtrain and you start burning muscle. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't got, that's when your muscles start working good and start burning. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what lactic acid is. It stops your muscles from, from working. It puts some blockage. But 
cardio helps you get rid of the lactic acid so your muscles start working again. You know what I'm saying? But then you need to eat. That way when your muscles working, they start eating it and they start growing and your muscles start getting bigger. So that's what when you get rid of the lactic acid, your muscles can grow, but you gotta have food to make your body grow. Is it complicated to understand? You follow me now? <laughs> okay, keep on following me. Anyways, so I was like, so what you said, but then you're doing supersets. You're getting cardio. No, 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 not really, because for all bodybuilders that weight train, when you get a set in, you usually take time to let your body till you catch your breath. And when you catch your breath, the metabolic rate of your heart rate slows down. You know what I'm saying? So it, 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 it doesn't work. It works, but not as well as doing cardio. Because if you do cardio, you're doing it for a duration of a time, for a period of time, for 15 minutes straight, or 30 minutes straight, nonstop. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta sprint for 30 minutes, but I mean, if you can, you can, great. You know what I'm saying? But you have your heart rate going like at 135 to 50 decimals for 15, 20 minutes straight. By having it for a straight, consistent time, that makes your body, you know what I'm saying, pump even better. You get better, a better result. You know, you build more wind and your endurance and all that stuff. So you, you build it. It's, it's different than supersetting. So you have to do cardio because it works much better because you're keeping it at a consistent pace for a period of time. That's why you, you need cardio. You know what I'm saying? You can do it two or three times a week. You can do it every day if you want. You know I don't know. But anyway, so that's what it, so I told you was going to happen. Uh, I was reading, after I read that shit, and after that, when I was listening to that guy talk about how you don't need cardio, I was listening to him, and then he, he said he does that to me. You're contradicting yourself right now. <laughs> this book is powerful. You know what I'm Once you start getting real knowledge from a book, and you start listening to people talk, you start realizing that they really don't know what they're talking about. They do, they half, 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 I mean, but they got the results. They looked the part, I said, yeah, because he did the power consistency, he kept doing it. If you do something long enough, your body is going to change. I promise you, I guarantee it. I cross my heart and I hope to die. You know what I'm saying? If you do something long enough, your body is going to change, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it'll change faster if you add diet, dieting in there, you know what I'm saying? It'll go a lot faster. You know I mean? But if you just, if you don't even diet, you just work out, of course you'll build muscle. You'll probably get bigger, but still have fat all around you, but you have muscle underneath it. You're gonna grow and you're gonna get bigger. You know what I'm saying? You look like you get fatter, but no, actually no, you're stronger. You just, all that muscle is underneath and because you didn't diet, you got fat around it. You just got bigger. You thought you got fatter, but you didn't get fatter. You got strong because the muscles underneath is growing. You know what I'm saying? And the way to get that fat off is to do the diet. You know? Okay. Oh, anyways, my setup things, I was doing those. I only did sets of 15. And the center of my back is start tightening up. You know what I'm saying? Because I haven't did that these in like a long ass time. I figured I, I might as well start doing it again. Look at that. We already eight minutes in. Hopefully I set out some valuable information. Okay. We're gonna read chapter three today. Let's see what else we find out tomorrow. You guys catch me on the